Okay. Hello again. Here travelling further up than I was before. We are going it's a very difficult path. I'm very tired now because the, the motorbike can't take both of us up. So I've been walking, walking up this, this road as you can see. Very narrow road. Trying to get cars up here. But this is where the the older, more ancient uh, tea trees are. And uh, especially for uh, Mr. Lowell, my cousin, he specifically harvests the dragon beard tea, the most speciality of his range. This is the pathway, uh, which is nearly up to, to where the uh, the tea, the ancient tea trees for the uh, dragon beard tea are harvested. But as you can see on the way. There are some trees here as well. These, these have been chopped down to provide a bit of barrier along the roads. I mean, these, these are pretty much the norm trees to local people, but for, um, for ourselves, for the tree, for the tea, I mean, it's a speciality. Again, you know, very, very old tree here, talking at least a few hundred years a few hundred years old leaves very hard to harvest uh, this is on its on it we're on our way to where there's more this is just on the roadside and um, you can see some of these have been harvested chopped away grown amongst other flowers wild fauna flora the uh, it's very natural habitat no fertilizers chemicals again all 100 percent organic you can see a lot of limestone and the sediment this is what the trees need to survive so it's all natural nutrients required and we're gonna soon head further up that road um it's difficult to go up there by bike may have to walk and wheel the bike up much of the much of the distance but this is on the way to where the uh the main farms, well, natural farms, I would say. More trees are, are, are amongst the hills where the, um, as I was mentioning, the, which are used for the um, dragon beard tea.